hello guys welcome everyone once again so now we are going to install mongodb so first of all we have to download mongodb then we will install mongo so first of all just go to your google.com and try to give like mongo db download so it will redirect to the mongodb server here you have to go and just click after opening up that one you can see here we'll get cloud server tools so go here to the server and choose your operating system so currently i'm having windows if you are having different operating system you can easily choose from this drop down and here you can also see packages zip or msi it's depend on you whatever you are going to download so i'm just going to download and i will click here so after that it you will get one message like thank you for downloading mongodb so it's here it is showing size also so you have to just click on the save so it will take some time i'm just pausing the video then after that i will show what we have to do so we have already downloaded our mongodb now we are going to install so first of all just double click after that it will ask you one permission run and cancel so click on the run so after that it will pop up for the mongo installation just click on the next then click on the accept license again click next so one now we are having option complete and custom so try to select as a complete here it will ask again run services as a local or network so click as a server first one okay then click on the next see here the log will be here and directory will be here automatically it will, it will create one folder so just click then go to the next here you can see one checkbox is there it depends on you you need mongodb compass or not so for now i'm just going to uninstall this one then click so it will take some time after depend on your system speed after that it will install so now we have installed the mongo db so next what we have to do just it will ask you on restart so it depend on you you need to restart you can restart so all the configuration has been changed else you can click on the no so i'm just clicking no currently then i will open to the c okay open to the program files then if you scroll down you will see one mongo db open this one here you will see server then 4.0 here will get bin so this is the location here mongo database has been installed so just copy this whole path and open your start just search environment variable click here and here environment variables click select as a path click on the edit so after that put colon and put the path so what happened currently i have given on path location for mongodb next click on the ok so it has been done so in order to run mongodb server we need to configure the data directory where like all the database will be stored so first then we need to create some folder click on the c okay i'm going to create one folder folder name i'm going to give as a mongo file so mongo files so i'm giving this i'm going to create this folder because whenever you run the mongo server when on that time it will go in your c directory and it will try to search like is there any data slash any db folder is there or not if it is not there on that time you will get some exception like non-existing path for your database not found so i've given here then inside that one i'm going to create one more folder as a data okay inside that i'm going to create one more dp okay so first of all what we have done we have installed our mongo database after downloading then we have created our path also next we created one folder inside c so his name is a mongo files after that we have to open command prompt and we have to run mongo db command so we can check like it's working or not so go to the search and type cmd so cmd i have opened now we have to check like mongo has been installed or not so just 
type here mongo and click so once you click here you can see mongo has been installed it is running our local host so everything has been done you can check the version also 4.0 now we need to check like uh, is, it, is there any database or not so by default mongo always having one default database like test so what we can do just type db so currently you can see this arrow arrow means like already we have comes under mongo so just click db so here you can see test is there so this is a way to install mongo database so in next video we will try to see how we can see our database through a ui thanks guys please subscribe my channel